And right now we are tracking Metro tonight. A tough new audit says Metro's emergency response puts riders and its employees at risk. But the auditor also found the agency has made some improvements. So let's verify what this means for your safety and what Metro has to say about it. Here's Delia Gonzalez. Our sources, Washington Metro Rail Safety Commission and the Washington Metro Area Transit Authority, or Metro. We're assessing Metro against its own safety commitments. The Safety Commission conducts audits of the region's rail system every three years. This safety report reviewed Metro's emergency management and fire and life safety programs. According to the analysis, auditors found Metro has made numerous improvements since 61-year-old Carol Glover died and dozens more were injured <coughs> in a smoke-filled train back in January 2015. Specific examples, the training and familiarization for firefighters and first responders in the region, so they when they come to the metro, they kind of know what to expect. But according to the report, the slow emergency response and poor communication that trapped riders for 45 minutes seven years ago are still problems. And that's coordination and communication with um, those first responders coming from outside agencies and within Metro Rail itself. Among the 14 findings, inconsistent and incomplete 911 calls leading to delayed responses, emergency equipment that is, quote, expired and covered in dirt, and no training or clear direction for a newly appointed incident management official. This particular position was something that Metro decided to create after they uh, failed to report to us a runaway train event last March. Metro received a draft audit back in December and released this two-page response outlining some improvements already in the works, like a quality insurance process, creation of an Office of Emergency Preparedness, and a prevention and mitigation team. In a statement, a Metro spokesperson says, while we are disappointed the report does not include factual corrections, we are undertaking recommended actions. We are making good progress on enhancing Metro's prevention, planning, and response to emergencies. We issued a factual report and we're glad that Metro is acting on it. The purpose of all of this is to keep Metro as safe, as reasonably practicable for all of us to ride. Um, it's, that's the point of the audit is to identify things outside of the only looking at it reactively. This is the way the WMSC proactively uh, tries to look out for your safety. Metro now has 30 days to come up with a corrective plan of action. With your Verify, I'm Delia Gonsal.